since I came down to get, uh, went down to get more building materials because I have taken apart these, I went and found some more, just uh, three more pallets, and the manufacturers of the pallets switched things up on me. They changed the head. So what they have been using is a square head. And now what they have is a star, which means I need to get a new bit in order to use them. Uh, luckily, this kit my wife bought me, which is a very accessible kit. Um, she happened to pick it up at Home Depot. I'm not sponsored. I like Makita. Uh, Home Depot is convenient, especially because I can build it points for a discount with a pro account. And so, here, just slide this open. And I've been using the bit from right here that you've seen in my drill. And luckily, it has some stars in here. So, just gonna look at what thing might fit and try it out. Maybe a little, look at that. Perfect. Next one up is too big, huh? see. Looks like it fits just right, but if it's the opening and not further in, it falls over where this one fits and goes deeper. So I'm going to start with that one and if that wears out then I'll come and grab this one and see if that'll work. The one just smaller it's gonna float in there, I think. Yeah, that would work if I needed it in a pinch. So, ends up being a T25. So that's what I'm gonna use. And I was using the square bit there. And what's the one just smaller? is a an S20 so I was using an S25 and I'll still be using the S25 for assembly because I'm going to set these aside for a different project I should have enough screws for a long time that are the S25 because I'd like to use the same screws in a single project so I've got that bucket you saw hopefully I've got enough um, all these ones on the ground are the S25 as well so if I have to pull any of those out for finishing the deck then I will use those in the build and probably use the T25s in the deck that way the main edifice itself is all one set of screws of bits and We'll see how it goes, if that's enough or not. Hopefully, but uh, honestly, I don't know. I won't know until we've got things up higher. So that is the switch up I've had. But I have one 10 foot pallet, an eight foot, and then a seven and a half underneath it. You see, it's not quite as long. And so the nice thing is that since I'm doing it 10 foot, this direction what I'm doing is for the inside and outside and in between doesn't matter but let me explain that as I'm forming the logs the outside wall and the inside wall which comes about here uh, are gonna be solid 10 foot pieces from this and what's in between I'm not worried about for the base I wanted those one piece and so that's what I did but for uh, further up, I'm not worried about it. Now here, one thing I did yesterday was I took my pull saw and I trimmed here and here to be level with the rest of the wall and I'm gonna have to do that over there and at the other corners as well and that's the way that this is going to fit in and lock itself in and then as you can kind of see down there, there's a, a cut like that where they clasped together at the 
level. So that's how they're going to have this double tongue and groove on both sides and lock together. And because this floor is higher, it's not going to be exactly the same here. And then the rest it will be. I'll just have to trim right here as well until wherever it ends. But right here for this area, what I'll have to do is trim this section after the floor. And I'll show you a finished product of that when I end up doing it, but just of the boards that go here. And there are three underneath and there will be two on top. So there's the part that will be the groove of the top to fit the tongue of the bottom. And then I'll have one, two, right there. And we'll see if one is enough to cover the ends of the floor, then I might do that and then just do a trim piece for the second one. But we'll see, I haven't decided yet. When I get to that point, I will get you an update. Anyway, so that is the plan. Hopefully I have this board in today. I've got a whole bunch of other projects to do, but I want to get at least one base of the side wall in today and uh, we'll see when I finish some other project if I get that far. And then I will update you. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Please share my video with anyone that is building a cabin that you know or that wants to and I will keep you updated as things go along. And I've got this just sitting in here to protect these little bits here so that the kids don't come over here and play and break them off because I want those to stay there so it can just help things be a little bit more secure. Anyways, that is where we're at. So I also have to build up a little fence to retain the berries. So it'll look something like that one-ish over there. And I might, might use these boards that are curled that I pulled up from the floor uh, because they're just going to crack as I use them uh, if I flatten them out and this is to make things more complicated. But it would be perfect for holding that up and it would make that wraparound porch because I've got, even though you can't tell right now, I've got a wraparound porch the full width and that is about four feet that direction before we get to where the berries are and you can kind of see there are some boards in there a ways let's see if I can see for you uh, it goes in there quite a bit beyond where the bushes have grown out to and that board that's back there is behind that edge of the pallet so I use some of those and some other longer pieces for the horizontals and get these berries in control here you can see the kind of walking space this was filled with the pallets that we took apart recently and you couldn't walk over here before because of that blackberries over here I've got to harvest a ton of so the rest can keep maturing feed us I am really grateful for these and excited to enjoy them and have healthy food that's fresh and organic and homegrown for my family man that's a big stock look at that thing down there it's as big as my thumb I mean uh, look at that and it's even bigger as it goes down it's huge three quarters of an inch at least and those are those thornless blackberries look at that tons to harvest and this is right next to the raspberries which are right next to the cabin build site anyways 
That's it for now. Thanks. Like, subscribe, share. Appreciate it. Ciao.